I've decided that today I'm going to start off some cucumbers. If you're starting off cucumbers, even at this time of year, make sure that you take them indoors. Don't leave them outside. They're going to take a while to germinate anyway. But they definitely cannot stand cold. And it's not just the frost. If you leave those little plants in your greenhouse and you just get a cold breeze coming in, that's enough to make those plants just fall over. And nine times out of ten when they do that, they will not get back up. They'll just die. They're very susceptible to cold, as are French beans. So if you're sowing any cucumbers at the moment, make sure that when you've done that job, you pop them indoors because they're going to germinate a lot quicker as well. And at least you can offer them that a bit of protection. And then you can bring them out half an hour a day to harden those plants off and give them proper sunlight at the same time. This year I'm doing the same ones that I did last year because they were brilliant plants and they're called market more and they're especially good if you don't have a greenhouse because you can grow those outside. Obviously you don't want to be putting plants like that outside until it's summer and you've passed all your frost dates. But I grew a couple of these in a greenhouse last year. In fact, I think I had three plants going and the amount of cucumbers that we got between those plants were amazing, but also way too much. I say every single year, I'm only having one cucumber plant this year and I always end up with three or four and there's just too much on it. I end up pinning them to trees so that birds can pick at them or get seeds out. So this year, I am gonna sow a few seeds but I'm only keeping one plant and I'm definitely going to stick to it this time. So those market moors, they're also known as a ridge cucumber and they feel a little bit spiky, but if you just give them a rub, that comes off. So no greenhouse, no problem. Just get yourself some market moor and grow your cucumbers outdoors this year. I've also got to keep my eye on these other plants. Got suns out today and for a change, it's actually warm. So we don't want them drying out especially that salad because it'll soon flop over and I'm just checking these peppers as well while I'm in here I want to see what the roots is like see these are in nine centimeter pots but as you can see the roots aren't too bad so they're quite big plants but they're still perfectly fine to stay in that pot for a few more weeks yet and then we'll move them on into maybe a two litre and then eventually a 10 litre and they'll stay in a 10 litre pot until it comes time to hopefully harvest some peppers these need a bit of water too just make sure you don't over water your peppers or the leaves are going to start and turn yellow just wait until it feels quite light and you see those leaves starting to sag a bit that's when you need to be watering them and that will prevent you from over watering at the same time they don't mind drying out to some degree i've also got some of these trays I've had these for the last couple of years. They came with some other plants in them a long time ago. But I'm going to use these for cucumbers. I'm only going to sow six seeds as well. I'm also putting them in these because they're transparent and they're quite big cells. Your cucumber plants grow quite quick once they've germinated. So in order to let them grow on to be a decent size before you move them again, you're better off starting them off in something about that size. Or you could just put your seeds straight into nine centimetre pots. Entirely up to you. I'm doing it the space saving way because I can pop them in there. I've got six seeds, I only want one plant and that can all go straight in house. It's not taking any space up whatsoever. And also you can see when the roots start to build up as well, which is another good thing. So that's what we're gonna be using today. You don't need to sieve your compost either because the seeds are very big with cucumbers and any other squash plant. So just get the biggest lumps out that you can. And then fill your cells up. And I'm gonna make sure that I compact it down a little bit as well. That way the composters are gonna to stay together when we eventually take these plants out. So having done that, we can sow as seeds. So we'll just get a couple of these seeds out. I won't put two seeds in a cell because they are quite big seeds and these plants when they come out have quite big leaves on them as well so you don't want them competing for space straight away so just one seed in centre of each cell 
And when you're doing that, just look out for any that might be cracked, because they'll be no good. Simple as that. And I'm just going to poke them down with my finger to about the depth of my nail. Because these plants aren't going to have any trouble breaking the surface of that compost. So just a fingernail's depth. Unless you're a lady and your fingernails are that long, don't do that. And then, I'm just lightly going to flick that compost back over the top. Because we know those seeds are deep enough. And then I'll give it a good watering. And I wouldn't put cling film over the tops of these packs. Because as soon as them little seedlings come out, they're going to grow quite quick and you could end up trapping them and bending stems. So just make sure everything has had a proper soaking. And that's your cucumbers all set up. Don't forget to put a label in them. So there you go, job done. A possibility of six plants germinating. If we only get two, it doesn't matter because I only want one. I am definitely sticking to that this time. So if you've not already sown your cucumbers, you can get them done now, but just remember, you need to take them indoors. And you need to keep them indoors, because it's still not quite warm enough for them to be outside, because we keep getting those cold breezes, and that's all it takes to knock those plants over. But don't forget, you've also got to harden them off. So every day, bring them out for half an hour, let them get some natural sunlight, and then take them back indoors. And before you know it, you're going to have some really big, ready to move on cucumber plants. And they'll give you a lot of fresh, homegrown cucumbers all the way through this season. As we enter into April, we've got lots of fresh salad, don't we? And also a couple of extra plants. We've got loads of very healthy peppers and some more young ones that we'll be repotting on very soon. And also these tomato plants, because they're now even bigger than they were a couple of days before. So pretty soon we'll be taking these out and if we get any that's leggy, we'll just bury those deeper. And that's gonna guarantee that you get really strong, healthy plants. And other than that, as soon as we get into April, there's gonna be a lot more that we need to start sowing and growing. If you're interested in seeing what else we're gonna be doing over the next couple of weeks, then please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell, and I'll see you next time. You take care.